Hello everyone and welcome back to Trials by Melissa. I'm Melissa and today was day 14 of my 30 day juice fast trial. Just one day um, short of half the way there. Um, I'll start out by giving you my stats. Last night I only got a couple of hours of sleep but I was sick for today so I probably more than made up for that. Um, weight is down 0.2 which brings total weight loss to 9.6 again. So that's, I guess that's good. Um, I have some sort of a stomach bug, so I'm really not feeling myself today. Honestly, I didn't really drink any juice today. Um, I had, think I had one, and the rest of it was just water just because um, I've, I've got some sort of a little bit stomach bug, and that's that's just, whew, it's a little bit exhausting. I've got a little bit of a fever. I'm not feeling super great, but um, what I want to talk to you guys about today was uh, food craving solid food so I know I've spoken about this a couple of times but I, I just want to let you know whenever I did my 60 day juice fast my craving for solid food was not that bad I you know I did start like looking up recipes of healthy meal alternatives and stuff like that and I got really into looking at different recipes but I wasn't necessarily craving solid food and I don't know if it's the fact that this trial is um, only 30 days so the end is always closer and it's always kind of in sight and I'm already planning my next trial and what will I do for it but my craving for food is just it's it's almost constant and it's not the permanent food that you would think it's not a big steak or anything like that honestly it is just any sort of solid food whether it's a carrot um, a tortilla a, blue, a bite of chicken um, you know just absolutely anything so I just am constantly in struggle with my desire and my mind between what I know I'm doing and what I want to accomplish and you know trying to stay true to a 30-day juice fast and just an uncontrollable desire to have solid food so if you're doing a juice fast whether it's 30 days or 60 days and you're experiencing this kind of stuff you're definitely not alone Everyone that um, goes through this, you know, probably does it. But I'm not, I'm not, you know, exaggerating whenever I say it is way worse for the 30 days than it ever was for the 60 days. I can't speak to exactly why that is, but you know, just hang in there and keep reminding yourself that you're doing what's best for you. That you're trying to cleanse your body and reset it and give your body um, a, a nice thorough detoxing. So, best of luck if you're working on that. And I will see you tomorrow. And again, thank you for watching Trials by Melissa. Goodbye.